One of the most confusing things about the Live Editor is how you actually organize layouts. Um, it would be handy if you could think about it in terms of a grid and being able to drop things onto a grid, but that's just not the way it works. So you have to kind of think about uh, adding rows and the rows in turn having columns. And they get the columns when you pick a row. So you pick a, a row style and then you say, I'd like one with two or three or some kind of odd arrangement. Uh, such as uh, this one down here. Oops, I it? missed it. So that one down there. Um, so you can see we've now got uh, three columns with a fifth, a fifth, and three fifths. Um, so you've kind of got to think about uh, plan ahead in terms of how you want to organize things. So let's just take a, a simple example. We might want to have a headline going across the whole width. So I've added in a row that's just one column. Um, then I might want to have a video with a bit of space either side. And then have um, some more uh, full width text. So you're going to end up creating the rows uh, similar to that. You may also want to add in uh, duplicate rows uh, just so that you group together things that are kind of logically grouped. So if you were uh, listing out a, a series of modules, you might want to have a layout that consists of a couple of different elements that you're going to duplicate over and over and over again. So instead of co uh, copying each element, you can set up a row with all the bits in you need and then just duplicate the individual row. Um, so that gives you um, the basic structure. Now the other issues that you may want to have is on each row itself, it can have, you can make it nice, nice and full width and put a colored background on it or a color gradient. So let's kind of give it a weird funky gradient. So you can obviously play around with a lot of these things. Now this presents a different problem in that um, if you now want to change the layout but have a smooth gradient, uh, it will cause a, an issue. So you really, in those cases, have to stick with doing a flat color background. So that one. And then carry on that background in the uh, next row. So that you get that kind of smooth transition between, between rows. Now the only other problem then is if you want to have a, a, a smooth background that's the same on, or a background that's the same on these two rows, does present a bit of a problem. But there is a kind of hidden little feature that happens um, when you've uh, split the row, uh, the, the rows to have columns like we have here. The rows that are um, that are bigger than one unit, like these one, this one doesn't have it. Like this middle row has this additional plus that you can click on and you can then further subdivide uh, that particular column uh, to give you a bit more flexibility on the same background. So here I'm just going to put on, rather than having a coloured row, we'll put on a little image background. I'll show you how that might work. So if I scroll down I think on the next page, I think I've got some backgrounds that I uploaded. Okay, there's a wooden background, for example. And let's make that uh, stretch over the whole of that particular area. So now you can see I can do um, some quite complicated things where I've got different columns. That wouldn't work with this row above because obviously the pattern would then start again. So that's quite a handy little thing to, to know. You can then subdivide it again if you click on there so you can split the column into another kind of different arrangement unfortunately this is a, it's a shame that you can't split this one big row but hopefully at some point they'll uh, work that one out and give us the ability to do that